Morning everyone. I am off to the Brighton Seacliff Yacht Club for opening day, which marks the beginning of the race season for 2024-25. Um, it's kind of a tradition, I think, for most sailing clubs, and you might recall that I did a video uh, sometime in the past on my previous sailing club, the Port Adelaide Sailing Club, and it was the same thing. Um, I didn't take part as much in the racing, although I did go on some people's boats, but my own boat, that didn't really take part in any of the racing there. So this is totally different because this time we are windsurfing on the Windsurf LT, and there's a big class of, I'm told, at times up to about 25 competitors, and it's growing all the time. And as you know, I used to, I used to windsurf a lot. I used to compete, and this is first time today, but I'm going to get the chance to do a race again in a long time. So the way it's going to work, well, I don't know exactly how it's going to work. I'm going to just be enjoying the experience, but I'm under the impression that there's somewhat of a celebration to sail past the flagship, which is Brindabella. <laughs> another uh, another boat that's featured in this uh, on this channel. So uh, yeah, she's coming down, and we'll be going past uh, the flagship. And um, then after we're done with our sail past, as I understand it, there will be a race. I don't know if it's just one race today or two races. Uh, I don't know what the starting procedure is. I don't know what the course is. I do not have high expectations of. A good result today at all this is really to blow out the cobwebs to understand how the um, the club does its racing and you know, anything's a bonus so yeah off we go opening day first race of the season weather looks good um, pretty excited actually it should be a good day Right, we're set up. It was a bit of a mad rush to be honest, but um, there was probably no need for it. Uh, I misunderstood a little bit. I think the juniors have training, so they wanted to get them onto the beach, ready to go within 15 minutes. And I'm like, I don't see any other windsurfer empties around, but best I get my kit set up as well, just in case everyone's waiting on the beach and there's nobody. I'm it, so I'm ahead of the game in that respect. So I can just, uh, sit here for a while, I might go out for a quick sail uh, and get my finger in the game, so to speak. Just coming up on Brindabella now, wave to the flagship, everyone. Ah, look at that beautiful boat. What a beast. A few more people have got their gear together now ready to go and uh, I'm just trying to work out what downhaul and outhaul I'm going to run with and it's a bit of a gamble there's very little wind uh, that may change but I know I know the hot shots run with very little downhaul and I'm not entirely sure who the yellow sail is but I think it may be one of the club hot shots if not the hot shot um, and he's got no downhaul at all so yeah, it'd be very interesting to watch how people go with the different setups. Um, we have loosened ours off a little bit, and I think I'm just going to run with what I've got now and learn from it.
packed up, ready to go home. I got about a one hour drive. I told a few of the uh, windsurfers that, and they just, they just live locally. They hop on the bike <laughs> to get home. I've got one hour, but um, it's a good club. It's a really good club. The other sailors that windsurf, really friendly bunch of people. Um, as a lot of them would say, they'd be pretty ruthless, no doubt, when we're racing, but um, really friendly, happy to give you advice uh, to improve your sailing. <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, it's going to be a pretty steep learning curve again, having spent so long out of it. But how did we do today? I think we did okay, to be honest. Um, we did fall in a few times, and that you know, that kind of killed us a little bit in the overall results, but um, I really didn't care. Had we not done that, had we raced cleanly, we would have been amongst it. And um, so, you know, that's pretty encouraging. Of course, there are a few people at the front who are really, really good, but that's really nice to have them here, to have an elite level of sailing in the club, because you've, you've always got, as people will say, you've got races within the race and you're always moving forward so yeah yeah loving it so i guess this is what we're going to be doing for the next uh, few months um into the season now um i am feeling it today i've spent a long time out of harness because we didn't really have the wind to just sit back and um let the harness do the work uh, it was in and out throughout the whole day and we still had a pretty big swell so it, it was hard work but I mean that's one of the reasons I think it's, it's great to do this it's like getting fit without going to the gym but anyway I think that'll do us for this uh, for this episode <laughs>